Welcome to the uh, Play 21 mini Let's Plays and today we have with us uh, Frederick from Sweden and he brought with us his game Sneaky Steely. Welcome. Thank you, thank you for having me. So, how are you this day? Uh, I'm perfectly fine, thanks. And you? Yeah, I'm uh, a little bit nervous, but we'll get through this. Uh, it's a fun format and uh, to get this started I prepared a little warm-up. It's basically, I say something and you try to finish the sentence. You ready? All right. Okay, so let's start off easy with this morning I drank... Uh, water. Very healthy. <laughs> um, okay. My main occupation is... App developer. I'm thinking a lot about... Uh, Keyforge. My superpower is... Ooh, uh, um, smart, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing I'm holding in my hand most of the time is... Ooh, it's a, it's a split between my guitar and my drumsticks. Nice. During the pandemic, I... I played a lot of Keyforge. Obviously. <laughs> um, and after the pandemic, I will... Uh, I will actually buy a house. Whoa, that sounds like a big project. Yeah, that'd be nice. So hopefully the game development helps in this uh, sense. Um, but, but let's see, I'm creating interactive works because... Oh, it's just a hobby, it's super fun. Okay. Um, and the future of games will be... Uh, grandiose, I'm sure. <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah. Very short warm-up. Um, do you want to say something else about yourself before we start with your game? Uh, no, I guess not. That was a good introduction, I think. Okay, perfect. Uh, well then, uh, let's switch over to the game. Here we are. And uh, yeah, it's called Sneaky Steely. It's uh, very pixelated. Um, what is it about? Oh, I see. <laughs> My internet connection was just gone, right? Yeah, you froze up a bit. I froze up a bit. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, we are in the game, uh, it's called Sneaky Steely, it's very pixelated, um, what is it about? It's about sneaking and stealing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty obvious though. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm studying and I got some numbers here. I actually start a little bit. Like, like I did uh, my, my first heist. Uh, yeah, I see, you have a high score. Yeah. Uh, it, it was okay, Ooh. I guess. <laughs> so, but, um, so the next one, uh, which I'm going to have to do, there's the many guards, a loaded safe, and rumors of diamonds. That sounds great. Great. Um, so, so, so what is my goal? Uh, so the goal of the game is to get as high of a high score as you can. Um, and you have to uh, be careful to not get caught by the guards uh, when you do your heists. Uh, and you, in, it's, it's not actually a puzzle game, even though one of the biggest criticisms or at least comments that I've got for the game is, oh, I can't really solve this this uh, room or, or, or this place. Uh, but not all of them are solvable in, in that sense. Sometimes you just have to, you know, maybe do like a quick cash grab and then just get out. So it's not a puzzle game. It's more like a, a party game, actually. So it's basically made for two players. Um, but you can play it uh, very well as a one player as well. Um, but yeah. let's kick it off and see see the see the level. All right. 
So I'm in. And I can control so then... one of the characters here. Yeah, exactly. I can switch to the other. And I can only see what the characters can see. And the, the best idea is to scout it out first, right? To, to walk around in circles. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Well, if you... If that's how you want to play, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you can help me with, with some tricks. So, so I found out it, it's uh, always great if, if somebody is uh, checking a window and then I can like sneak through those uh, doors. Oh, but now he is hearing something. Yeah, so it was a camera there. Oh, <coughs> a camera. Okay, so, so, so now you have to quickly go away, right? Yeah, you have to run before the cops come and yeah, this was, take you. This was bad. <laughs> So now you your daily expenses are quite high still. They and they uh, go up each day as well. Yeah. So, Damn. Uh, and now you have no cash, yeah. so you need to start again. But it, but it was my plan all along, you know, to to start again. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, okay. There there are lots of uh, interesting mechanics in here. So. Uh, of course, uh, playing together, it's uh, quite nice because uh, you have to uh, just work together, but uh, sometimes uh, it's this question of uh, do you really want to take this risk uh, or just leave so you don't get to uh, get caught. Um, and, the, and the levels are also um, created uh, while the game is running, right? Yeah, exactly. They procedurally generated. Uh... So uh, you will get a new one, a totally unique one. I mean, the chances that someone else has played this exact level is so in, in very, very small, very small. Um, yeah. And here, here you have this safe that you need to crack. And for that, you need actually, uh, you need sound because it's the ticking sound, so you press left or right and then you hear the tick just like a real safe i guess <laughs> uh, so you get the loud tick then you're supposed to switch to the other other way yeah it's really, it's really a, a, a small tick but I, I maybe can do it Ah, Yay. there we go. <laughs> so you found some good cash. Nice. Uh, it, it's really interesting that it works uh, with sound, uh, also because the, the, the sound is so um, they're like two two little bleeps, and they are they are yeah. You have to listen closely to differentiate them. Um, but but so it's very it, it's extremely rewarding. Um, so now one of the guards noticed the um, safe is cracked. Damn it. <laughs> but that was enough. <laughs> um, so when I tested this, mm -hmm. uh, I tested it with some friends. Uh, so I have this like a uh, Raspberry Pi, so everyone gets, uh, you know, like a small controller as well. And then everyone is talking pretty loudly when they go around and try to scout and stuff like that. But then when you get to the safe, you really have to li listen. So though then the the room has to be quiet yeah. so it's a, it's a it's a fun party game i think um when the the levels are created what kind of um uh, what, what kind of rules are behind that is it i mean can't get too complicated but it needs um, to be interesting i guess yeah so Let's see, it was like a year ago I wrote this. Uh, I think the rooms are created one by one and then the objects are just placed into them. And as you can see, it's like the objects are only at the, at the farthest wall. Uh, and also some of them can be <clears throat> uh, on, the, on the sides, but you don't have any uh, on, on the what you call on, on, on the most closest wall. Mm. It's how the interaction uh, code works. When you need to interact with stuff, you always have to press up, up to do it. 
And here you have a, a computer that you can hack, but the other guy, he is, uh, that's like the, the safe. Uh, I mean, the, he, he's closing off the electricity. Electricity. The electricity goes down, yeah. Oh. <laughs> He got caught. <laughs> uh, what, what's your what's the idea you had behind the game? Um, how did it came in your head to develop something like this? So I doodle a lot in uh, with pixel graphics. Um, so this is something that I just doodled up, and then I continue with it with the concept because it looked fun. Uh, also, it look it, there's no like you can't do any violence in this game. That was one of the ideas that I had very early as well, that you shouldn't be able to like take out the guards or anything. I mean, you can trick the guards because they respond to sounds, but you can't like take them out in any way. Mm -hmm. uh, and how long did you try to uh, make it this um, uh, not fluent but snappy? You know, uh, everything is really defined in here. Yeah, so that was pretty pretty early. I think uh, that the concept come together, and that I guess that's the reason also why I actually managed to to make a game out of it because. Uh, <clears throat> if, if the concept early is a bit, you know, not that well defined. Um, I tend to not make any game out of it. It just stands, stays that way. Mm -hmm. That's pretty amazing. Uh, so, um, making a game, a game about breaking in, of course, it's um, because it's fun in some case, I guess, uh, but uh, it's uh, hopefully not a not a real comment on society, but maybe there is uh, like a like a thing you noticed and then, um, you know, some uh, some message you wanted to send with it while playing. What, what do you think is the the thing people should take out of the game after they played it? Um... I think there's, I have like this, uh, this is, I mean, the game is super small, so there's not that much place for, for getting uh, some elaborate message in, but I have, when you start it, it says start new career. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I guess that's like a small thing. Uh, and I guess there's some other places like that as well. Uh, I mean, the daily expenses goes up uh, and you always break into places that have like a safe uh, and, and stuff like that. So, but I didn't think about it that consciously to make it like that. It was more like uh, a fun, fun thing to do. I see. Yeah. But I think the, to leaving out the violence, that is the most con conscious thing about it. That maybe we can actually make games that's not about uh, fighting, but can still be uh, exciting in yeah. in the same in the same way. Uh, yeah, for me, it's that uh, working together. You know, this this trust you have uh, between each other. I mean, it's uh, often a topic in like like breaking outs or you know those. Uh... Uh, criminal family things. Uh, so so afterwards, when you did something, it, it's a really great high five moment, and uh, you know it just brings people closer together. Um, yeah, that's great, great to hear. Um, <laughs> and that, that's not something that I thought about. Uh, and the most play testing I've done is only by myself, so I haven't really you know uh, experienced and thought about it that much uh, when playing two players as well. So, but that's that's a super great uh, insight. Yeah, well, uh, that's why it's in the exhibition. Uh, so, everybody who wants to try it out, uh, please do so uh, in our Playtopia or in the real life exhibition. And um, if you like this game, maybe you like something else by uh, Frederick. Uh, what do you have uh, lined up next? What people should try out, maybe? 
so I think this is the most recent one that are, that are done. But I mean, you're free to look in, into the catalog uh, on my older games as well. I have uh, like an uh, agility game, dog agility. Um, that is uh, fairly popular as well. Uh, that I would uh, point to. Yeah. Okay. So take this out. And uh, thanks for the interview. Um, I guess we see you somewhere at the festival lying around, maybe. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, bye bye. Thanks.